Okay, so in this video I'm going to cover um, some things about the configuration of Card Defender. Now, most of you are going to have RITE's technical team configuring the application for you. Uh, that being said, though, it doesn't hurt just to kind of take you for a quick tour. So we go into our Start menu, you go to Write, and then you go to Electronic Payments, and Write Electronic Payments. So in order to access the configuration, you must be, you know, you must log in and you must have a manager uh, level access. So um, here's the configuration. Now this initial tab really, again, shouldn't be something you have to mess with, but it's essentially the location of the payment terminal and uh, how we communicate with the payment terminal. So you have one of these set up per register that's using the payment terminals. Um, the next tab is a little bit more interesting. So here you're going to have a list of each of the tender types that are going to be impacted by Card Defender. Now, I have credit card and debit card set up, and then I've chosen the option to say that they require a signature, and I've set a signature threshold. So in this day and age, it's pretty popular for a lot of retailers to not have people sign when a transaction's small enough. Most of our customers, that limit is $50. Some do it at $100. However, you can set the threshold to be whatever you want. Um, so if it's over one penny, require a signature. Basically any transaction, or only when it's over $50. Um, another thing that's interesting is that these don't have to be credit or debit card tender types. Okay, so if you have an on-account tender type um, and you want to collect the signature through the signature capture device, you can do that. Um, so, um, you know, it, it won't ask you to swipe a credit card, but when the transaction's finished, it will ask you to sign for it, and then the application will store the, the signature along with uh, that transaction, even though it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the credit card. Um, a couple of other things that are kind of interesting, um, there's a couple of debugging utilities up here to fetch um, some details from the terminal if you know something's gone awry or you want to test communications with it. Um, so configuration of um, the electronic payments, card defender, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and some neat flexibility in there.